Hi, and welcome to the seventh installment of Data Structures in 5 Minutes. I'm going to be talking about 234 trees, a variant of the binary search tree. It's a bit different, <coughs> but you can see that this tree will be perfectly balanced. And so many of the uh, d uh, pitfalls that we've had with binary search trees, such as the linear time worst case um, runtime, uh, will not apply here. So 234 trees have nodes that can have one, two, or three keys. So we're normally accustomed to a node with just one key in binary search trees, but here we can have multiple. And if they're not the um, leaf nodes, the one key must have two children, <coughs> the two key nodes must have three children, and the three key nodes must have four children. And leaf nodes without children are all on one level here. The invariant for the two, three, four trees are like the binary search tree invariants, in that everything to the left of a key is less than the key, and everything to the right of a key is greater than the key. And finally, all operations, because this search tree is completely balanced, is theta of log n, best and worst case, although the constant in here is a bit big because we have to deal with multiple key nodes. Let's get started. <coughs> Here's our insert compulsor baum, our big tree. And the first one's fine, um, that we might be interested in. And so say I wanted to find 40. Well, let's compare at each node check for the key. The key is not here. And if the key is not there, compare with each key in the node. So you'll see that 40 is between 10 and 49. So you go to the child that's between 10 and 49 um, to 25. It's, not, uh, it's greater than 25, so you move to the right subtree, and there it is. So... Again, the, the invariants help us find this, and they can help us work through insert and remove, too. Insert is a bit different in that you do the same thing as find, but when you encounter a three-key node, you need to split it up because you need room uh, to insert your key um, in the leaves. So what you would do is that the middle key shoots up to the parent, and the side keys become their own special nodes, their new nodes. And so this ensures that parents and the leaves are not full at the end. Good. So the way we should really see this concretely is with an example. So you see here that the 10, 49, and 71 are already a three key node. So you'll have to split this up and create a new root. So 49, 10, 71. Good. And now you want to compare uh, 39 with 49, it's less than 49, greater than 10. So you'll know that it's going to go in this subtree, and 25 is already in this subtree. It's greater than 25, so you're going to go to the right subtree of 25, and lo and behold, you have another three key node, 32, 34, and 40. So what we have to do is that we have to shoot the middle one up, so 34 joins 25 now. And uh, we have 32 and 40. Well, <coughs> 39 is greater than 34, so we'll include it to the right subtree of 34. And it's less than 40, so it goes in front of 40. So this is what we have after we insert 39. And the rest of the subtrees stay pretty much the same. And you'll see that when I add the other leaves in here, these, uh, this will be perfectly balanced. And while well, you can fill in the rest of the um, subtrees on your own, the next one here, next operation is remove. So remove <coughs> is pretty much the opposite in that you need to remove one key node that you encounter on your way. And so you start from the first non-root uh, to make things simpler. And if the parent and sibling are one key, you want to fuse them together. So fuse the node you're on, fuse the parent, and fuse the sibling into a three key node. And that gets rid of the one key nodes. And this becomes your new root. Now, once you're done looking at the first step, you'll either do one of the two latter steps if you need to, if you encounter a one key node. If the sibling has an extra key, you want to steal that key from the sibling. How you do that is you pull a key from the parent and you push the sibling key up to the parent. And 
Otherwise, if you don't have, uh, if the siblings do not have extra keys, you want to fuse the node you're on, the sibling, <coughs> and a parent key to form a new three key. And so that's how it goes. I'm going to fill this tree up a little and then show you an example. So 71, um, this is 63, um, this is 66, this is 53. is 89 and whatever. Okay, so now we want to remove 66. So what this entails then is that we need to first look at 71 because it's the first non-root <coughs> and we kind of compare because 66 is greater than 49 so we go down this subtree. And we see that we need to fuse. So that means that we fuse the 10, 49, and 71 together and now we proceed um, down to 63, and we see another um, one key node. And what we have to do is uh, we see that there's a two key sibling right next to 63, so we'll do a rotation. Remember, we push up the sibling, uh, sibling key, and we pull down the parent key. So this becomes 49 and 63. This 25 is alone now, and this becomes 34. And afterwards, we have <coughs> the child of 34 moves here. So this is uh, 32, 39, 40. Uh, sorry. No, it doesn't. So this is 39, 40. And this is 53, 55. And this is 66. So we're done doing the rotation. Um, and now we have to look here. We see that there is another one key node. And so we have to do another sibling rotation. So this uh, 55 shoots up. This 63 gets pulled down. 55 goes up. Uh, 63 goes down. And you see this conveniently makes it so that we have a two key node at the leaf from which we can remove the 66 and just leave the 63. So uh, if you fill in all the other subtrees here, let me just fill this in because we did a rotation here. Everything else should be self-explanatory. Um, <coughs> and you'll see that all the leaves are on this bottom level, and this height went from a height of 4 to a height of 3 because we fused the, roots, uh, uh, the root with the first two. And so this is the move algorithm and the insert, and I hope this makes things clear. And in the next time, I'll talk about splay trees, another form of the binary search tree.